Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2019. Today we are continuing our quest to find the best version of Augusta on the Golf Club 2019. And coming in today is the Magnolia National and this is a tour version. And this one was designed by the Cleave 24, which is the, and then the CLV24. Now we have covered his version of Augusta I think it was back on the Golf Club 2 and it was a fantastic version, so really looking forward to this one. He did say that he started work on this update back in April 2017 after returning from my first trip to the Masters. I worked on it on and off using my photos that I took and coverage from the 2017 and 18 tournaments and my resolve in finishing it certainly wavered at times. It's fitting then that I will be returning to Augusta this April to get another look at it and see how I did. So he's obviously returning to the, the Masters this year and going to compare this current version that he's designed to the, the current version of the Masters and live um, experience. So let's make a start in this. As you can see, fairways are firm, greens are firm, green speed is fast. We do have, oh, just a one tee option, and it is playing at 7,396 yards. We are going to be playing off pin set number one. Let's begin round. I do hope you fantastic subscribers are well. Thank you very much for the continued support in the channel. I have actually been in the, the driving range for an hour and a half since the previous video, which was the Predator 2, so hoping my swing's going to be slightly better today. So hole one is a par four, playing 443 yards, stroke index 11. And why, what a beautiful looking opening hole. The colouring is fantastic, it looks lush. And this looks very, very accurate. That's a tough pin location right at the back of the green there. And with these firm, fast greens, I assume it's going to be quite tough to get dialed into pins. Nice. Decent open and swing. This might kick slightly to the left. But it should set up a really good line for us to go and attack this pin here. Okay, looks like we have a Do have a six mile per hour wind. It's playing 159 yards. So I am going to have to deal off this nine iron. Another touch here. Wind's going to take us to the right. The green breaks back to the left. Slope's going to take us to the left also. It's a beautiful strike. This should kick out well for me on these firm fast greens and it should start to turn. And that's a really good approach shot there. Very happy with that. Just came up a bit short. But it set up a nine foot putt for the birdie. Green speeds are 182. I've not played that firm enough. The reason that broke more than what I allowed for is probably right, due to the the very soft touch I put on that. But it is going to set up a good par. Well, Happy to start off with par. Just disappointed with that birdie opportunity. My, my pattern has not been the best the last few rounds. Let's move on to hole number two, which is a par five. And it is playing 571 yards, stroke index 15, but wow. Really, really beautiful looking course. That slope, the down slope, doesn't look as severe as what I've seen on most uh, renditions of Augusta. And that pin is once again in a tough location. Well protected by the bunkers. I'm not sure. I'm just going to deal off this this driver and kind of sting this. I'm not sure how much of this downhill slope we're going to catch here. That was amazing. There's a far better swing. Should be way past 300 yards here with a good run out. Just going to speed that up. It has caught the downhill slope. 332 yards. It does mean we're going to be playing off a slope here, but. I reckon I can attack this with the, the three hybrid and we're going to take this shot on. Just finding the gap here. 
hopefully it just kicks on. I think this does slope away slightly from the green, but it is going to set up an eagle putt. Like I say, it's such a, a tough green to go and attack into with this current pin location. This one's really going to break to the left here. This one's all just in the way. Should really start to turn. Weight was really good. Just didn't turn as much as I lied for, but hopefully we do get our first birdie if the round here with this four footer. As you can see, still certainly not a gimme. And we do drop that into the heart of the cup for the first birdie of the round, and we move to one under par. So, hole number three, par four, playing 355 yards, stroke index 13. I'd like to think with a good drive here, we should hopefully be setting up a flop shot at worst pitch. But once again, it looks like the, the pin's right at the front of the green. It's another tough location. But I tell you what, the, the designer has nailed the colour scheme here and the lighting. It's absolutely fantastic. But it's great to be playing in mild wind conditions. I've been so used to playing in double-figure winds for the last five, six, seven consecutive rounds, I would, go. I would go as far as saying. This should kick out left. And that should be a flop shot. It's a nice angle, nice flat surface of the fairway we've caught here. And that leaves a nice angle to go and attack this pin. So just lofting this up a fair bit. I don't want to be short and catch that down slope. It's going to take me back. Great execution and this should stop on a dime for me play that well. It's actually ran on a bit more than I, I would have hoped. And this pot for the birdie. Hopefully we can have a good attempt at this birdie opportunity. Once again, tough greens here. You're not going to get any gimmies with these greens. It's going to turn to the right. Wow. Oh. Look how aggressive that broke, and I just touched that, and look how far past that's went. So I've, I'm actually now struggling for par here. here we go. Let's drop this and get your par. Patton's kind of disappeared the last few rounds. Six footer, up two inches. Far better putt there. And we do disappoint, I am disappointed with that one not to walk away with birdie, but we'll take the par and we are going to remain at one under. So, hole four, par three. Playing 240 yards, stroke index 7. Very tough par 3 this. If you are long, it leaves a nasty downhill. Like if I fail to hit the green go, oh look at the pin. And miss the, the green go in the fringe, it's a nasty back chip shot because the green slopes away from the flag. Certainly not hitting that. Just going to try and catch this slope here and use it, but my only concern is... I know that doesn't get there. I'm going to have to loft this up. I hate lofting up the one iron. Just try to use this slope that's in front of the green. Oh, I tell you what, that is a great strike. Why, the wind's really caught that, but we should make it up onto the second part of the green here. Might actually keep turning towards the pin, and that is a really good shot, guys. To probably get within 10 feet of that pin, I'm very happy with that. 9 feet, down 3 inches, tough putt once again. Just touching this. With the speed, the break is going to over... It's going to be over-exaggerated here. Turn, 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 boom, and we do play that well and pick up our second birdie if the Rhino moved to 2 under par. So that's took the disappointment of the birdie putt on the third away. And we do move to hole five, which is a par four, playing 442 yards, stroke index one. Now, one thing I've noticed here as well, I do feel that the, the fairways are slightly tighter than a couple of the versions. We've got very little room here to the right of these bunkers. Why, look at the slopes and mines in this green. That is absolutely brutal. And it's another tough pin. 
certainly bring that bunker into play. Oh. Just hoping the wind's going to take me around. Once again, you need a good clean strike here. And look at this. Beautiful. A lot happier with my swing here so far. And that is probably going to set up a pitching wedge into this green, I would like to think. I'd say it looks like around it's giving me a 9 iron, but I'm certainly not playing that. I think this club is perfect. It is playing 1 4 2. The wind's going to take us round. Just deal off in that two touches. Just looking to land this past the slope and then kick up towards the flag. I'd like to think that this is close. This is looking decent and then some. Sit. That is a fantastic golf shot. But look at the run out. Wow, must have just caught a slope past the flag there. You're on the green. A lot of work to do, but you're on. All right, 14 feet to the hole. Yeah. Wow, this is up four inches. It's breaking both ways here. Just going to favour the left edge here because I do think it's breaking slightly quicker to the right. Is it going to turn back? It is, and that is a fantastic putt. And we do pick up a deserved birdie there after that approach shot, and we move to three under par. Six hole. hole number six is a par three, playing 181 yards, stroke index nine. But really in awe of this course here. I really am. It's an absolute masterpiece. Now that doesn't look it's as if it's downhill 22 feet. I don't think it's downhill as much as that. Not sure to be honest. We're going to loft this up. Green does break aggressively to the left here. Put a slow on that. It's going to be long and right now. Wow, how far long is that? That is insane. That is insane that the slow has added that much yardage onto my club. That's now... I'm going to fully attack this from the sandwich. This has got a chance, you know. Oh, we lip out. We lip out. Just a bit too much pace in that. And hopefully okay, we can walk away with par here. Hard. But just missed out chipping that in. Slightly too much aggression nice on it. And we are walking away with par. But still confused with that tee shot. I'll have to go back and look at that. Because I clearly misjudged my yardage. But... It's insane in this game that a slow adds about 10 yards to your shot. It's, it's, it should deduct 10 yards. Hole number 7 is a par 4 playing 453 yards stroke index 3. But yeah, I would definitely say that the fairways are slightly tighter than previous renditions of this game. There's a trio of bunkers protecting this tight green. Holy cow, man. That is a tough flag. Yellow slopes probably about six feet prior to the, the flag. And I'm not joking, these fairways when you're looking down them look, nice look pencil shot. thin. That should kick out well for me. Probably looking at a, a pitching wedge once again into this green. Very tight fairways, very little room for error. It's a gap wedge. I don't think we've got enough club there. I'm going to go with a pitching wedge. I have to add on seven yards there, so it is playing one three six perfectly. Just going to loft it up one, two, two minimal touches. Wind's going to take us to the left. That's a great execution. I would like to think I'm all over this. I really would. Ooh, wow, that wind hardly moved me, and look at that. I've really been punished for 
Wow, look at that. And that's what Augusta can do to you guys. And I'm, I'm left with a nasty shot now. Probably looking at dropping a shot here. But you're talking about another yard left in the air. That ball moves and I'm perfect. I don't think a chip shot gets over there, you know. I really don't. I don't think I've got enough loft in the chip shot. This is nasty now. This could well be one of the hardest shots in golf. From this range. Playing 15 yards, 80 to 88 percent. Need to get it up over that bank. I can't see me walking away with par here, to be honest. Is it going to come back? Come on. Oh, I thought it might have came back. Amazing. But you're out of the bunker. So, ah, so we do have a par opportunity, though. Very little movement in this, to be fair, but it is downhill. Come on, hold your line. No, and we do drop a shot. That just moved more than I anticipated. And that is just came from being probably a yard more to the left and that shot. I was walking away with birdie there. So it just shows you how tough this course is and I dropped back down at two under. But I'm happy that happened, you know. Very realistic. But hole number eight is a par five, playing 549 yards, stroke index 17. But once again, I think it proves that the inconsistency of the wind here in this game, a six mile per hour wind moving to the left with a wedge shot, which is hanging in there. It shouldn't, it shouldn't move me more, but we'll take it on the chin. Once again, very, very tight green. I don't think I've ever reached this green in two, you know. Never had a favourable enough win to do it. But I certainly feel that the fairways are a lot tighter in this course. Very little room for error. And look at nice. You got all of that one. I'm sure of it. Should kick forward. Due to the uphill element here, we're not probably going to reach the green here. I don't think I've got what enough wind behind me. Want to give you your club selection a second look. I am going to be taking on the one iron. Let's see if we can bump and run this up. That's a great strike. Depends how it kicks here. Oh, it's a favourable kick. And I tell you what, that is the first time I think on any of these versions I've managed to reach this green in two. I really can't recall reaching the green in two prior to this. So it has set up an eagle opportunity here. Looks good. Oh, I just turned off the last two feet offline. But we are going to get that drop shot back and move back to three under par. But this is one of the, the rare holes that you should be Walking away with birdie on. Okay, let's see what happens so, here. hole number nine is a par four, playing 458 yards, stroke index five. This one is a, a large dog leg left, but the fairway slopes away to the right, so it's tough to, to get in close to this. And look at this pin location with the slopes and the contours. Wow. Club selection's got to be bang on here. I am going to play some draw here and just hope. Tell you what, don't think I've, I've played this well unless this kicks out. It's not going to kick out, is it? Nope. We're in the light rough. It shouldn't be too much of a problem, but I just took on too much of that corner there. I got greedy. It means I'm going to have to play 9-iron now. I'm going to add on 7 yards, so it's playing 141. That percentage. Lofting that up to the A. And if I play this right, it should come back off the slope slightly. Just gonna loft it up once more. Once again, the wind keeps changing every time I set up. So 
ball is That's a great way. strike. This has got a chance of being really good if it sits. Oh, almost kicked and hit the flag. Look at the kick that took, though. Why? And it's really kicked me away from the flag. We do have a birdie opportunity, though. It was a good attempt, but tough putt. 19 footer. It's really going to swing aggressive. No, didn't allow enough. Weight was good. And once again, we'll just walk away with birdie here. Well, eh, with par, sorry. I, I think you know that. Walking but away with uh, par. Next time, the greens are like blocks of concrete, man. So, three under. Right Disappointed with the, the birdie on the seventh. Like I say, another yard and I was. We would have been four under, I guarantee it. But, the course and, bit back. Uh, and we are three under through nine, which I'll take. Hole 10 is a long par 4, playing 500 yards, stroke index 4. This one is a dog leg left. No idea where the pin location is going to be here. Huge bunker right in the middle of the fairway. To be fair, not a bad pin location. Just where are you running into this? This bunker here, we shouldn't know. The wind should take us to the left and use the contours of the fairway to hold our line. Bit of a wonky swing line there, white. Yeah, this is going to be ideal. This is going to kick left. And it's going to work its way all the way down, hopefully to a flat surface for me. Nice. And hopefully we can go and attack this pin, but not with a swing line like that. Decent me. surface to be playing off, 54 yards. I say it's playing 150 into that wind, which is going to take me to the left. Also, he says, I'm very wary because the wind moved me very little the previous time. I think with this downhill elevation I have, I've got enough club here. It's a great strike. It's looking good so far. It should kick on firmly for me. That is a fantastic approach shot. Really happy with that, and hopefully we can convert that for birdie. Little five footer. Really being rewarded for that 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 approach shot there, and we do pick up the birdie there. And move back. Is it back or uh, no? We moved to four under for the first time. We've never been four under. So, hole number 11, par 4, playing 513 yards, stroke index 12. Very tight fairways once again. Why? So, this is the start of Amen Corner. Well, I say that after this tee shot, my second shot here will be the start. Of Amen Corner, holes 11, 12, and 13, but your drive here isn't classed as part of Amen Corner. Very tough par 4 this one. Just looking for the wind to take us round. Look at this, just beautiful just tee shot. It. It's going to kick out into the centre of the fairway. We are going to have a tough shot here. That pin looked brutal, to be well, honest. Well below us, that seven mile per hour wind is actually in my favour here. It should hold the ball up and get it landing softer. I'm going to say it's playing 183 into the wind. Just going to deal off this two touches and just hope for a good run out here. It's a beautiful strike. Would like to think that this should be close. This should start to turn towards the flag here. Oh, wow. Wow, I've never seen that kick. I've never seen that kick on any versions I've played on. That that was random. Very random. I thought I had played a really good shot in there. Obviously not. Never had that kind of kick on the greens before. But we'll take it. 
should run down a little. Oh, it's checked up. I was very yeah, reluctant to play that fool, and it might well come back and bite my ass here. This is a nasty putt. We could well be dropping a shot here. No, we played it well. Why, what a par putt that was. What a recovery that was, and we'll take that and move on to hole number 12, which is Golden Bell, one of the most famous par threes in the golfing world. And it is playing 157 yards stroke in next 16. Ray's Creek flowing through it. Very tight green, wow. It is playing 100. This club, why without wind, it's, I'm really in between clubs here, but I'm just going to deal off this. I'm not willing to deal off it any more than that. But we're going to... We're just going to attack this. We are. I'm attacking the pin here. Beautiful strike. Hang up in the wind. I need this to hang up in the wind. This should sit down. And that is a very good shot, that. Very happy with that. Would love to walk away with birdie here. Here we go. This putt for birdie. As you can see, and like I mentioned, many holes back, you're not going to walk, you're not going to get any gimmies in this course. But we do read that to perfection and pick up the birdie. After a fantastic tee shot, we do move to five under with a par five coming up. Final hole of Amen Corner. And this is one of the most toughest approach shots into any par 5 that you'll see. It's absolutely brutal. It really is. Look at that pin location. Look at the slope. It just takes you away from that pin. Your tee shot has got to be perfect as well. I'm going to have to play some draw here. That, that wind is just going against my favour. Oh, what is that swing? I think we're just going to get away with that. What a nerf is that swing? We've played it well. It's a good angle to come in at with the, the way the flag is, but we are going to be playing off a severe and slope. We are right around 175 yards out. This club's almost perfect. Just going to deal off it two touches. Slope is really going to... I think the slope's going to overpower the wind. I'm going to go there. The wind should start to bring me back here. This should be a good shot, you know, guys. Sit down, sit down. Has set up an eagle opportunity. This is going to be a nasty putt, though. It should be slightly yeah, it downhill. Like for eagle from here. That's not bad at all. Two inches down. I'm just playing this, you know. I'm just going to go slightly left edge. I don't see how this misses. And um, we do pick up the eagle there, and that's really going to improve our score. Absolutely delighted to pick up eagle. And that moves us to seven under par. But what a rendition this is. This is by far the best version of the Augusta National Course that I have played on the Golf Club 2019 and probably on any version of any game. So hole 14, par 4, playing 442 yards, stroke index 6. Once again, brutal slope right at the front of that green that you don't want to be short of. Yeah, these fairways seem very, very tight, you know. Fairway's gonna slope to the right. I think you got all of that one. Hopefully this doesn't kick me too far right. And we can just hold the right hand side of this fairway, which we are going to just looks like a nice flat surface and for our approach shot. Have about, I'd say so pitch and wedge. Yards from here. Just gonna loft this up one touch.
hopefully we're dialed in at the flag here. Solid looking approach. Should kick out well for me. Wasn't the kindest of kick outs there. Why? Wow, it just shows you how severe the greens break okay, and slope. That is a ball is negative. kicking out at that angle. It's an 11 foot birdie opportunity. It's another putt that we've read to perfection and we'll take that. And we do pick up another birdie. So great back nine so far. We're five under on the back nine. Total scores eight under. Hole 15, par five. Playing 526 yards, stroke index eight. Tough second shot into the, the green here as well. I mean, it's, it's an easy, reachable green in two, but due to the the pond and the slope and the contour of the green, it's never an easy shot, and that is a tough pin. Four mile per hour wind. Once again, delayed reaction in the, the backswing. Yeah, this looks pretty safe. It's just going to slightly kick to the left. It's the ideal location for me because it's given me a bit more green to work with. Okay, about, uh, Especially with the, the way the wind here. is. So I've got to take off seven yards here. This club's just going to be perfect. Don't want to be short. Deal often at a touch and we're really firing right at this slope here to see if we can kick on from the slope. Put a slow in that. D that didn't feel like a slow and it's going to be bunkered, I would imagine. Maybe past the bunker. Wow. It's going to be a tough uh, chip shot from here out the bunker, but it certainly didn't feel like a slow there. It's actually not the worst outcome. As long as I'm not past the flag here, we're going to be fine. Just going to loft it up a few touches. We're really going to attack this. Should start to turn towards the hole. Sit any time you like. Didn't expect that to run out as far as that. But we'll take it. Probably going to be a tricky well, six to seven foot putt for birdie. Decent. Here we go. Drop this one for birdie. Like I've said, don't see how this can miss on the left edge. There we go. Nice delicate putt. We do pick up the birdie after a nice up and down there. But amazed at that slow. I certainly didn't swing that slow. And we move to nine under par. Hole 16 is a par 3, playing 170 yards, stroke index 10. I have had a hole in one in this hole here. I think it was a golf club too. The green really slopes to, to the left here. It's a slightly different pin location than I'm used to seeing. 7 mile per hour wind, going to take us round to the right. I'm going to have to really deal off. I don't want to be going and hitting a 7 iron. What I would rather do is deal off this 8 iron and get it running up towards the flag if possible. It's a great strike. Looks like, uh, I think I'm all over this. Oh, wow, it's a great attempt. And I tell you something, if you haven't already hit the like button, please go and do so. Because you are not going to see a better approach shot than that unless it goes in. And that is going to set up another birdie. What a back nine we're having here. But what a buzz you get from playing this course well, guys. I mean, what a back nine. First time I've played this version of Magnolia National Tour. Four. And the designer, the Cleave 24, has made a fantastic. He really has made. It's a masterpiece. It really is a masterpiece. But hole number 17 is a par 4, playing 442 yard stroke index 14.
we've definitely found the version I will be using for my uh, PGA Tour career mode of Augusta, which I'm really looking forward to playing. Up next will be the Arnold Palmer Invitational, which I think is the next event on the PGA Tour at Bay Hill. Nice swing. A lot happier with my swing today. It's been a lot more consistent. Just that hour, hour and a half on the the driving range has really ironed out the issues I was okay, having. You're about 140 yards out here. It's playing one four three. This club's perfect. This club is perfect with a good execution. Which I've got. Should be all over this with a kick out. And the green should start to turn towards the pin. Wow. Too much club. But just the, just the kicks you're getting on these greens are obscene. I've never seen nothing like it. Okay, we're putting from around... 15 feet out. It's going to turn to the right. This one's going for it. Have I hit it? I have hit it right into the heart of the cup, and we do pick up a birdie there. And we really, we've played this back nine superbly. We are eight under on the back nine, but the final hole coming up, meaning we are 11 under. So, final hole here at Magnolia, Magnolia National Tour by the Cleave 2-4 is a par four, playing 459 yards stroke index two. It's a slight dog leg right here, but this approach shot is absolutely testing. And if you do walk away with birdie here, it is a great score because as you can see it is the second toughest hole on the course. Don't want to be on that lower part of the green putting up the hill. Just looking to go here because the fairway does kick out to the left. Now that was a swing. Really nice tee shot. But these fairways just seem tighter to me than any other version I've, I've played. And I reckon that should be a 9-iron or, or probably pitching wedge into the green now. And looks like Certainly I'd not an 8-iron. I'm not going to be playing the 8-iron. Uh, I'll take on the 9-iron with that wind behind me. It's going to deal off to a touch because we are on a slight uphill slope. And hopefully... This club is all over it. Oh, stay up. I'm way short. It's going to come back down the slope. And I've really made a, an error in judgment there. And that is going to be a very tough birdie nice. putt. I won't even be looking at the birdie here. This will be a lag putt. It is up two feet. Breaking hard to the right here, white. Extreme right. I've not hit that, have I? Wow, that's going to come back down. Yeah. <laughs> So actually, look at that, it's went further away than what I was. Hey, unbelievable. It really is unbelievable. I am going to persevere with the putt, but that is just, that is insane. Really didn't expect that to come up as short as that. and Put a bit of a, a bummer or a, a damp patch Four feet to the hole. You can do this. onto the, the rhyme because... Apart from that, I played really well, but like you say, and like I did say, this court will, this course will bite you in the ass if you don't play it to perfection. But I'll take a 10 under there for the first time playing that. Should have been an 11, but uh, really happy with how I played the, the back nine. But wow, guys, what a course that is, and I'm sure 
you guys have heard of it. It's not as had as much plays as I expected it to have. So some of you maybe haven't heard or aware that this course is out, but please get out there and play Magnolia National Tour. It's far, by far the best version of Augusta I have played, and um, the, the designer has obviously put a lot of painstaking hours into all the fine details to get this as accurate as what it is. So without a doubt, a favourite and a five-star rating from me. That is it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed the, the video watching it, go and hit the like button for me. It really helps out the channel. And until the next video, guys, peace out and take care and I love you all. Bye.